Hello, this is Clever Sausage with some real juicy news. Uh, coming from the US, two women facing hate crime charges after stealing boys Trump MAGA or MAGA hat, make America great again hat. Two women are facing hate crime charges in the United States after confronting a seven year old boy and his mother outside the Democratic National Convention in Delaware over their support of President Donald Trump and seizing a Make America Great Again hat. Okay, so some Democrat son was wearing it. Maybe he's into supporting Trump. Maybe he likes Trump. These, these two are just being bullies. Okay, get this. A grand jury today indicted Olivia Wilson, probably her, and Cameron Amy, both 21. Now tell me, this chick, she looks like about 18 to 20 something. This one here looks like she's about 10 years old. Okay, well, imagine going out with that. You know, she, she proves that she's 21, but you're going out with that. People are saying, are you a child molester? What are you doing with that little girl? You know, get away from her, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, just a thought. Okay, um, a grand jury today indicted Olivia Wilson and Cameron Amy, both 21, on felony charges. Felony charges of robbery, conspiracy, and hate crimes, and a misdemeanor charge of endangering the welfare of a child. Amy also was indicted on misdemeanor charges of assaulting a man who tried to retrieve the hat, attempting to assault his mother, and offensive touching of the boy. The indictment accuses the woman of committing the crimes for the purpose of interfering with the victim's free exercise or enjoyment of any right, privilege, or immunity protected by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, or committed said crimes because the victim had exercised or enjoyed said rights or rights. Violence in any form is unacceptable, but harming another person, left alone, let alone a child, because of the expression of their views, betrays the principles on which our country was founded. That's the US. Said Delaware Attorney, Attorney General Kathleen Jennings, a Democrat who has joined in several lawsuits against the Trump administration. Free speech, free assembly and free expression are sacred, no matter whether we agree with the opinions expressed, and especially when we don't. Jennings added in a preparation statement. Okay. Uh, the incident, which was captured on a video that went viral after being posted online by students for Trump, occurred outside a restaurant at the Wilmington River front on August 20, a few hundred feet away, a few hundred feet from where Joe Biden gave his DNC acceptance speech that night. The video shows two women damaging signs supporting Trump and taking a red mega hat. Get it, Liv, get it, Amy tells Winslow, who picks up the hat from the ground and throws it. The boy chases after the two women, saying, that's somebody else's hat. It belonged to somebody else, he was just borrowing it. Right, before Amy picks it up again and walks away with it. Mom, call 911, the frightened boy says. The video later shows Amy apparently punching a man who tried to get the hat back before she throws it over a fence. Amy then approaches and confronts the woman shooting the video, which abruptly ends. According to the Attorney General's office, it does not appear that either of the suspects is represented by an attorney yet. It was not immediately clear whether either is still in custody. Yeah, well, this is, again, this is a bit of a funny one. She's, she's going into custody, right? That's it. Jeez, how old is this chick? She looks like she's about 10. You know? This one, yeah. But this one? Who the hell let this kid in there? You know? Okay, so if you uh, like the small news uh, segment, from Real Juicy News, then um, do the right thing, tap the geek to subscribe and leave your comments below and uh, give us your opinion on this chicky here, this little girlie here, she definitely doesn't look like she's 21, okay, um, yeah, it'd be interesting, okay, we'll see you soon.